Hey guys, so for my project two, I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross, and so I was really inspired by his landscape paintings. Um, so I decided to do a landscape myself. Um, so for this project, I learned a lot of different tools to use and kind of adapted a different style. And so I can show you guys over here by how I did the sky. And so for the sky, I have some clouds and a gradient background. And so there's a gradient tool over here um, where the paint bucket usually is. And you could use it to choose different colors to have a gradient from. And you can drag up to see how far your gradient um, should go up to. And so another thing that I did was I drew the clouds in and I downloaded a pack of brushes that I had talked about before. And this gave me one of uh, my favorite brushes to use. It's kind of like um, a pressure sensitive brush. It's great for landscape. And I was able to blend a couple different colors to make the clouds. So that was the sky. And so then I started doing the mountains. And so the mountains, I decided to do a little differently instead of just drawing them in with a brush i decided to use the lasso tool um, and the poly poly polygonal lasso tool um, and i decided to draw in the mountains layer by layer with different colors so let me just turn off all these other um, layers So I only had, so I set up a couple different uh, mountains to create a perspective. And then I also drew on, colored on top of it to create a more um, depth, uh, depth like look. Um, so then I did the same technique that I used on a different layer to create the snow. And um, so it gave the mountains a more clean look color wise. Um, and I also just colored on top of it a little bit more to give it more of a gradient. Okay. And then we move on to the trees in front. So for the foreground over here, I drew the trees in the exact same way with a lasso tool. And what's great about the lasso tool is that you can color in um, as sloppy as you want, and it'll keep all the colors within the lines that you selected. So that's basically what I did with my trees. I colored it in with different colors. And yeah, this is the finished product. Thanks, guys.